Welcome back to Coding Shorts. I'm Sean Wildermuth. It's been a little delay because I've been traveling a lot and doing some conferences, but I'm back. We're going to see a few more Coding Shorts in the next couple of weeks. Today, I wanted to talk about a topic that I think some people might misunderstand, nested routing in Vue. Let's take a look. So let's talk about nested routing. I'm starting with a pretty simple view application here. I'll show you what it looks like before we dig into the code. And it's just a very simple demo, has three layouts, a tiny bit of data, not even calling an API. We're gonna stick on that people tab because this is where we actually wanna add nested routing. So let's talk about it. I have a router already set up and you can see that I just have three simple routes that go to individual views. Now I could, of course, make a new path for people editor, right? And I might even put something like for people editor and then have some different component, right? And so I actually have a people editor view, which we'll see here in views under people. And I actually have an editor view, which of course they've named with view for me. And this would work, I could have a, an individual page that went to that editor view. We've done this lots and lots of time. And this would work, except what I really wanna do is open up a separate view inside of my other view, right? I want my people view in this case to have a pane or a part of the page that is where sub views go. And that's really what this editor is because it's a very simple component. So let's take that out. And let's actually add children. And these are for child routes. And what do child routes look like? They look like exactly what you would expect them to look like. They have all the same properties as top level paths. Just instead of saying people.editor, I'm actually going to say editor. And it's going to assume that slash people is the start of the path and that this is extending that path. So we have this. How do we actually make it work? If we look at the app.view, this is where we have some router links going to our individual pages. And then we have that magic router view that you're probably already used to. And that is saying, this is where the views go in, right? But in our case, we also need in our people view, here's our template, we're gonna need to put router view here as well. Right, because what it's doing is it's saying, oh, this is a child of this view or of this route, more importantly. Where am I going to put those children route components? And this is where they're going to put them. And so let's go up here to where I have the add new button and let's change this to a router link. And I'm just going to say two is going to go to people editor, right? And I'm going to put a border around this container of our router view so we can see where it ends up on the page. I'm going to go ahead and put our button class in there as well so we can make it look like a button, even though this is eventually going to resolve to an anchor tag. Come back, we have that beautiful add new button. And when I click on it, we can see our editor is showing up in that box. And our URL here is changed to people slash editor. And so if I add someone like fill and make him 32 years old and save it. What I did is I navigated back to just people because the editor is now closed. This box still appears because it's still part of the markup, but there's nothing in that router view because we're not navigated to one of those child routes. How did I do that? In our editor view here, when someone presses save, it adds them to our store and then what? Router push to navigate them to people. Same for cancel, navigate them to people without actually adding the item. And so I'm just changing and using routes just like I always would in order to handle this. And so this becomes easier to build these pages within pages within pages or views with pains and pains and pains to allow you to do this sort of thing. Let's extend it a little by adding a second ch child here, path called details. But in this case, details is going to take a parameter and our component is going to be 
details view view again it's trying to name it for me and i don't like that and so we have all of these pieces let's go back to our people view what are we going to do here we have to actually implement that show details function so in our setup show details id and then i'm just going to use the router again to say people details id right I'm still going to use the router to go to that individual page when show details is actually used. And let's add it to our return. So we should now, when we click on this view, should take us to a details view instead. And back in the view, we can see that our editor still works here. But if we go ahead and click any of these, we'll be able to see the details of our data. Of course, our data is simple, so that's not a lot to show here. But we can now use that navigation, because what is happening up here? People details five is what's actually being shown, right? We're actually seeing the URL change for what this, one thing to note that I haven't shown here, is you can have nested inside of nested inside of nested. I'm not really sure what the limitation is of how nested you can go, but actively you're gonna wanna go to a level that actually makes sense. So there's only so much screen real estate that matters. Thanks for joining me in this coding short. My name is Sean Wildermuth with Wilder Minds. Remember to like or subscribe. It really helps with this channel and get the word out. And until next time, keep uncoding. coding.